The Speakeasy communication system is hands-free, continuous listening, and unlike walkie-talkies, they use frequency hopping, which greatly minimizes channel interference. The light just turned green. Traffic will pass you in about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, you could go a little bit faster now. All right, Taylor, we got an 18-wheeler coming up shortly. You're going to need to hug the shoulder a little bit more. We got a motorcycle coming up on the left in about 10 seconds. Go left a little bit more. The headsets are for all weather use, they're Bluetooth compatible, and the intercom range is over 1,600 yards for four paired devices. Using the Speakeasy communication system is super easy to use and I'm going to take you through the steps now. First, I'll take you guys through the buttons on these intercom systems. So on the left side, there are two buttons labeled plus and minus, which act as your volume control. The power button is located on the top of the device to the left of the antenna. Lastly, there are two buttons located on the right side of the device labeled A and B. Now you know where the buttons are, let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is power on all the devices that you would like to use by holding down the button on top until you hear the words power on and you see a blue flashing light. Power on. At this time you're also going to hear the state of your battery. Battery full. Before you pair intercoms, you must clear all previous pairings, which is easily done by simultaneously holding down the two buttons on the right that are labeled A and B. You'll know that you've done this successfully when you see the red light flashing in the center and you hear intercom pairing cleared. Intercom pairing cleared. To pair intercoms together, start with intercom 1 and hold down the labeled button A until you hear the words pairing. Next, take intercom 2 and hold down the labeled button B until you hear the words pairing. Both intercoms that are pairing will simultaneously show red and blue flashing lights. Searching. Pairing successful. To pair a third intercom, you'll use the same method, but you'll start with intercom 2. So take intercom 2 and hold down the A button until you hear the words pairing. And then take intercom 3 and hold down the B button until you hear the words pairing. Next, simply press the A button on intercom 2, and then you're going to hear the words Searching And then Pairing successful I'm going to add a fourth intercom using the same exact method. So first, hold A on intercom 3, hold B on intercom 4, and then press A on intercom 3. The pairing process is generally a one-time thing. You don't have to do it every time you turn them on. So say you went through the pairing process a few days ago, and today, when you turn your intercoms on, you simply press A until you hear intercom connected, and do the same with two and three if you'd like that many. These headsets are perfect for road construction, road surface marking, traffic and flagging control, line maintenance, and much more. think about our uh, Speakeasy wireless intercom. Speakeasy, I love it. This is a hell of an idea. So, so many times when I'm out in the field, you know, it's loud, loud equipment. Uh -huh. Put this on, cut out the noise. But the other thing I could do is I could talk to the guys. I could talk to truck drivers. I could talk to the boss. I could talk to the guy running the crusher. This is a great idea. So anyway, I'm going to kind of throw this up on our website, maybe on uh, Facebook. Try to sell some of these. That'd be fantastic. Hell of a product. Thanks, Dave.